Hello viewers. Today we will learn about some multiple choice questions and their answers on the topic of heterocycles. This is very important for any competitive exams and also for conventional undergraduate and postgraduate chemistry exams. So let's start. The first question is with respect to electrophilic aromatic substitution, reactivity order of pyrrole, pyridine and indole is. So what is the reactivity order? Now the right answer for this question is option C that pyrrole is more reactive than indole than pyridine with respect to electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Second question is the reaction of 2 methyl furan with NN dimethyl formamide and POCl3 would give. Now we know that NN dimethyl formamide and POCl3 this is a combination of reagents used for formylation reaction so we can expect that 2 methyl furan will be formylated now the right answer of this question should be option b next comes the most acidic species among these so here are some species mentioned over here so what should be the most acidic one among them the right answer is option b this should be the most acidic species among these four Next comes the major product formed in the reaction is we see we can see the reaction that uh, indole upon reacting with dimethyl formamide and POCl3 followed by acidic hydrolysis. What is the product that will be obtained here? Now the right answer for this one is option A that is 3 formyl indole will be the major product of this reaction. Next comes the fifth question. The major product formed in the reaction of quinolone with potassium amide in liquid ammonia. So what will happen if the reaction proceeds? So the right answer for this question that we can obtain the 2 amino quinoline as the major product. So option C is the right answer of question number 5. So we move to the next question. This is question number 6 that if you want if you wanted to carry out an electrophilic substitution in pyridine, an initial step could be to react pyridine with H2O2 in acetic acid. Since this is a common reaction strategy. So what happens in this step? Now the right answer is that pyridine N oxide is formed. So option C is the right answer of this question. Next comes papaverine, a drug molecule on oxidation with potassium permanganate gives so what happens when papaverin get oxidized with potassium permanganate it produces ketone so option a is the right answer here next comes the reaction of 1 bromo 2 fluoro benzene with furan in presence of one equivalent of magnesium is so what will happen and what what will be the product for this reaction so we will get option C this one as the major product so option C is the right answer here next comes we need to match the following columns you can see here two columns A B C D and 1 2 3 4 now with respect to the compound heterocycle and their synthetic procedure you need to match the column okay so we know that that pyrrole is synthesized by means of pal nor synthesis and also cumarin is synthesized by means of Peckman synthesis okay so you can you can check all four but you can have a and d and when it matches so you can see that option d should be the right answer of this following matching okay so option d is the right answer the tenth question is what happens when uh, 2-hydroxy acetophenone reacts with DMF and POCl3 at room temperature that is uh, their formylation and uh, would that be a cyclization uh, resulted in the final product so the right answer of this question is uh, option C that we will get option C this one as the major product of the reaction following reaction okay next comes which of the following solvents is a heterocyclic compound now the options are dmso thf diglyme and dmf the right answer is option b that thf is a tetrahydrofuran is a heterocyclic compound 
Next, again, a matching of least one and least two, you can have the compound structures, the substituted compounds and their names. Okay, now we need to match them. Now here, the right answer for this one should be option C. That is, uh, when we talk about the P, that is the first of list one, first compound of list one, that should be the two amino piperidine. So this is the first one. And so the rest will match accordingly. So option C is the right answer here. Next come up 13. Here you can see from quinoline, two reactions are there. The reagents or the reaction conditions are mentioned as P and Q. And you can see upon re uh, reaction with P and quinoline, we get the product this one. And with the reagents Q, we get the product this one. So what should be the reagents? Okay, so P and Q. Now the right answer for this one is option B that P should be O3 and Me2S and Q should be KMN4 and KOH. So option B is the right answer for question number 13. Next comes what happens when uh, this pyrimidine ring substituted pyrimidine structure reacts with NaOME and methanol. So what should be the product need to be expected? So the right answer is option C is the main product for this one. So we will get the product option C. The major product formed in the reaction of 2,5-hexane dione with P2O5. So what should be the major product in that case? The major product should be a furan structure with substitution at 2 and 5 position. So option A is the right answer here. Next, the decreasing order of basicity of the following compounds, all are heterocycles here, you can see. Now we need to find out the decreasing order of basicity of the following compounds. So there are some orders in the options A, B, C, D, you can see. Now the right option is option C. This is the correct order of decreasing order of basicity of the following compounds. So option C is the right answer. Next comes question number 17, the heterocyclic ring present in the amino acid histidine. So what is the heterocyclic structure present in histidine? The right answer is imidazole. So histidine contain imidazole ring structure. The correct order of basicity of the following compounds is, so four compounds are given here and they have uh, the order given here in the option A, B, C, D regarding the order of basicity. Now we need to find out the correct one. Now the correct one should be option A that this is the correct order of order of basicity of the following compounds given here. Next comes the question, the final product of oxidation of isoquinoline. So what happened when isoquinoline get oxidized? The final product is isonicotinic acid. Mind it, it is not the nicotinic acid, it, it is isonicotinic acid. So option C is the right answer here. 20th question is, the treatment of food food oil with sodium hydroxide yields. So what is the product of a reaction of furfural with sodium hydroxide, right? So we need, we know that this is a, a Kanijaro kind of reaction. So the product should be option C, the furfural alcohol and sodium salt of furan 2 carboxylic acid. So we know that in a Kanijaro reaction, these are the major products. So option C is the right answer for question number 20. Next comes the major product of the following reaction. You can see that benzothiophene is here, which upon reaction with uh, molecular bromine in excess amount in presence of chloroform at room temperature. So what should be the product? So the product should be option C, that 2,3-dibromobenzothiophene. Okay, so this is the major product of this reaction. Next, the following reaction may proceed via which of these intermediates? You can see here an aromatic compound uh, with a branched amine, with a branched secondary amine on reaction with uh, sodamide or sodium amide. You can say that uh, what uh, gives uh, the product here and what should be the intermediate involved in the following reaction? Can Will it be a free radical or an anion or a carbocation or an arine. So the right answer for this one is an arine. So this is the right answer for this one. So for question number 22, option D is the right answer. 
okay next comes the 23rd question which is predict the product structure of the following reaction you can have a uh, reaction you can see with the heterocyclic compound when reacted with n bromosaccinimide in presence of dibenzyl ether and heat followed by another step of aqueous NOH reaction. So what should be the major product for this one? Okay, so the major product should be option D. This is the major product where you can find or you can uh, realize that bromination in this methyl ring, uh, methyl groups followed by uh, reaction with sodium hydroxide and finally the cyclization nucleophilic substitution kind of reaction will end up with this uh, dihydrofuran kind of structure, five member fused structure. So option D is the right answer here. Next one is, which of the following state statements is correct? Given here, four statements are here. So which of the following is correct? So the correct answer is option A, that pyridine is isoelectronic with benzene. This is the right answer, okay, among these four. The 25th question is, Electrophilic substitution of furan usually occurs at. So where the electrophilic substitution of furan occurs? So the right answer is option C that at C2 carbon. This is the preferable position for electrophilic substitution in furan. So option C is the right answer. Next 26th question is nitration of pyrrole is best carried out using, you can see the following nitrating reagents, concentrated nitric acid and sulfuric acid, only nitric acid, acetyl nitrate and ammonium nitrate. Okay. So among these, the right answer is option C that acetyl nitrate should be the best preferable reagent for nitration of pyrrole. Next comes the reaction of 4-chloropyridine with sodium ethoxide is an example of. So this is an example of nucleophilic substitution reaction so option a should be the right answer of this question next which reagent would you use to convert 2 pyridone to 2 chloropyridine so to get 2 chloropyridine from 2 chloropyridone what should be the choice of reagent here you can see all chlorinating reagents hcl pocl3 pcl3 and ccl4 now the right answer is POCl3. That will be the best choice to get the following conversion done. The next question, 29th question is which statement about thiophin is incorrect? Carefully you see that, that which one is incorrect about thiophin? Now the right answer is option C that thiophin is more reactive towards electrophil electrophiles than furan. So this is incorrect statement. The other way around is the true one. Okay. So the last question of uh, today's video is uh, one iodobutane reacts with pyridine to give. So what happens when one iodobutane reacts with pyridine? So we get the N-butyl pyridinium iodide as the major product. So option D is the right answer here. Okay. So these are 30 impo very important questions for the exams, competitive exams and also for conventional UG and PG chemistry exams. And uh, thank you very much for watching the TG chemistry channel and keep watching. Subscribe my channel if you like the videos to get and also press the bell icon to get the notification further when I upload some new videos. Thank you.